Alright guys, welcome back to another video from Dosen Ngoding and today I would like to uh, show you something that will improve your AI coding workflow. It's called a Laravel Boost and I tried these things and if this uh, library is very interesting because uh, it creates an MCP specifically for Laravel and filament development that will help you and your AI to work seamlessly with the Laravel ecosystem. So this is in forms of a library. So you need to install this library. Uh, Composer require Laravel boost in this this dev, and then uh, you should install the MCP server. So let's see uh, how I can uh, implement this uh, MCP in my repositories. Okay, let's see our filament learn filament version for repositories. So uh, from now on, I will uh, focus the channel on the filament version 4 and how we can use AI to code with filament and get a better uh, result and higher productivity. So this is the uh, library, uh, the GitHub. You can clone and check the repositories here. And what we do, we should uh, compose a require Laravel Boost, the SS dev in the project. So in this project, I already installed this, but if you want to know the process, you can check this. Like this <coughs> it is already an, an update because this library is quite new and there is already <laughs> several updates <laughs> since i installed it last night so okay it's no problems we can check uh how this is uh has, how this library can help us okay after you compose a require you should do this uh, and you will have to choose uh, several options available here. So boost MCP server with 15 tools. So this this is the tools that the MCP will give the AI to be work with. And there will be some function, there will be some helper method and etc. It's all there. And boost AI guidelines for Laravel inertia and more. Uh, 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 this is the guideline for the AI and I suggest you to pick this uh, to enable this and also I'm working with Heart here so while working with Heart uh, we should uh, enable this one and use the spacebar yeah. do not use enter use spacebar to enable or disable so <laughs> when I first time trying this I use enter and it's wrong okay then uh, they will ask uh, which uh, which code editor that you uh, will use so cloud code i use cloud code i have cursor but i do not use cursor i have php storm um, license but i do not install it so i'm not using it right now so i'm focused on vs code and cloud code for now so it depends on your uh, environment and what type ki what kind of editor that you use this is all free no no problem with this thing i think okay and which agent i need you uh, your guideline so i use cloud code and i use github copilot but i do not use juni and i do not use cursor so i do not choose this one then they will add this so uh previously for the guidelines i create my own guideline so my own guideline for Laravel, my own guideline for filament, my own guideline for LiveWire in my own style, and my Tailwind, my everything. But uh, this uh, library has already give us the mm, likely most the agreeable best practice that can be used for the all the developer out there, and they put it in this file, in this guideline file, which you can modify and you can improve. You can pull request to the repositories, and you also can make and custom. So not only use their uh, command, but we can add our own guideline here. But I have not tried this yet. But let me show you how to set up first. Then we will continue with customizing. And they will install an MCP server to your selected IDEs, Cloud Code and VS Code. Uh, we install the Boost MCP and Heart MCP because we choose this one. So, what does these things uh, create and give us? So, they modify a lot of things. Uh, the Cloud.md files, uh, actually there is more, and also Copilot instruction, because I working in the Copilot and GitHub, uh, in Cloud Code. And for more details, you can check here in the .cloud and .github and the .vscode 
So there's mcp.json that we can add Laravel mcp, Laravel boost mcp, and there is also .mcp.json that will be will be used by Cloud Code. I think this one. So they give us this cloud.md files, this uh, git copilot instruction.md. So usually if we working with copilot, uh, we will make our get line here in these files and we can also split the files into several other guidelines that we define in the vs.vs code usually or also in the .github. It can be put there and every time we do a question this context will be automatically added into the uh, our prompt okay and then these things also works with cloud uh, cloud code so i also have cloud code here and then uh, we can check the mcp's command we can see that the heart and laravel boost is already connected so the mcp will be used by cloud uh, code cloud code to make uh, their work is better to be better i think so there will be fair so many comments so many tools that the the cloud can be used to work with laravel but let's see what are the details of this process okay let's terminate this but let's check the guideline first so laravel boost guideline foundational context uh they they list this as 8.3 but i use 8.4 maybe sometimes and someday you will need to modify you can just override and make it uh, 8.4 or uh, following your uh, stack convention verification script uh boost rules ravel boost artisan command so they give this command list artisan command tools so the AI will be directly know what is the available their uh, artisan command instead uh, the AI have to crawl to the internet or hallucinating some other comments that never exist but by using these tools uh, this MCP they can uh, solve your problem using the correct artisan command so this has happened uh, frequently when they uh, when the AI hallucinating about uh, artisan command URL, Tinker, debugging. Let, let's see, because I will work with uh, mainly with uh, Laravel 12 and Filament. So let's see what their uh, uh, rules about Filament. Okay, server driven UI framework. Okay, mm I don't know what this static make method for content consistent component is initialization. I don't know. Maybe I should read more about this. Uh, you must use specific uh, artisan comments. Okay, list artisan comment. This is correct. Uh, filament core features. Uh, they already split the. There is action. There is a form. There is an info list. There is a notification panel, resource schema, table, and widget. So overall, this is all uh, the most important things about filaments, right? There is a form, info list, notification. There is a panel, and etc. Relationships also like this okay oh this is interesting uh they define a code snippet like this one <laughs> but i do not define like this uh but yeah maybe this is just the different way to define a code snippet but they give a code snippet a name and a language okay 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 i see this is good ideas uh this is the drop down components uh relationship author example this is how to test the tables I do not know. I never test a tables in filament, but they give me insight of how to test the filament tables. Okay, this is good. Uh, how to test the create resource? Okay. So I think by using this, we can create a better test code for filament. Uh, I don't know what they will use this for uh, test or not. I don't know. I never. I rarely <laughs> do the testing stuff. I usually test with. Uh, Microsoft, uh, what is Playwright? I using Playwright to test it. Uh, I feel better to use uh, test using Playwright because it is end to end. But they also provide you now the filament testing type, something like this. Okay, it's no problems. We can use. We can also use this. 
uh, testing multiple panels oke okay. there is also filament version for rules uh -huh. grid section hmm. yeah this is a lot of thing that i do not know about filament version 4 but they already provide a very good best practice and in my opinion we, it can be help uh, our development process better Hmm, okay, organize component class structure. Yeah, yeah, this is the new schema section. This is uh, the default filament version 4, I think, because this is already here. Hmm, filament, customers, pages, schema, tables, right? Pages. Oh, there is no pages here. Hmm, schema, table, filters, schema, tables. Oh, they add a filters. Tables column. Hmm. Ah, this is new. I do not know. Let's see uh, how they can work this. Laravel core rules, etc. etc. Uh, okay, let's just believe these things uh, now. Uh, but uh, one thing that you should realize that this file is quite long. So every time you do the, uh, the prompting, you ask something, possibly that this file will be included to your input token and maybe maybe it will be it will increase your uh, quota usage but i don't know i think this is good then it is necessary and it will it will be generate a better code i think also i will also know, uh, remind you guys that this library is quite new and there will be some updates there will be some frequent update to this because so many pull requests <laughs> it's like just like two days yeah there is a change log up, updated eight hours ago that's why when i composer install it is also, uh, already a new version so if you change these things uh, it will be overridden so if you want to add your own rules so put it here dot ai guidelines and then file name format something like this so when the the library update, uh, your AI rule is not overridden, uh, overwritten by the update from the repositories. So just let this file like this and add your own file. So maybe like this, new folder, .ai, then inside the put a guidelines. But I have not tried this yet. Uh, of course, I will add my own rules here because. Uh, not all of this role is uh, fit to my requirement. Maybe I will also like an option where we can ignore some rules that we do not like from the libraries. But uh, so far, I think this is uh, okay. Okay, so far it's okay. Uh, and when you try, please uh, always update the composer. Do composer update before you try. Maybe there is something new and there is something different. But don't forget to check uh, because uh, in the end that code that you write even though it is helped by ai it is your code the code <laughs> this is your code not ai code so be careful with that all right uh, see you guys in the next videos when we will try to explore our journey of learning filament version 4 with this ai helps and with all of the best practices that i can share with you guys see you guys in the next videos